Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm actually in the process of editing a video, but I just thought I had to like make this video right now for some reason. Um, and I want to talk to you guys about how I cope with stress. I was talking to my friend the other day and she's in her last semester in college and she was telling me about how stressed she was and how she's visiting like a psychiatrist and, and how she's being prescribed on sleeping pills. It just brought me back to when I was in my last year in college and I was literally scared about everything, stressed out about all kinds of things like the future, career, graduation, and all of that stuff. So I accumulated some tips over the years that really helped me cope with stress and I am someone who stresses out about everything, the small things, the big things, really the unnecessary things. I thought it would be a good idea to share with you some of those tips that I've learned to help cope with my stress. So tip number one, write it all down on paper. I would say this is like the starting point. So whatever's on your mind, spill it out on paper. When I'm stressed about one thing really, I find myself being stressed out about 5 million other things that I really shouldn't be worried about. We sweat the small things without really realizing it. So just write it all out and then cross off the ones that really don't need our attention. Toxic relationships, bad friendships are all things we really don't need in our lives. And it's completely okay and healthy to just cut them out of our lives. You want to surround yourself with positive, inspiring, and real people. And I feel like the people you surround yourself with really influence your energy. So it's really important to just detox the people who are really just bringing you down. So once you have all the small things crossed off, blacked out so that they're non-existent, probably now left with the major issues. So these are the issues that really need our attention. This could be anything like student loans, career decisions, that one person you absolutely despise at your office. Um, it could be like a health issue, family issues, so on and so forth. So now you need a game plan and you can't be lazy. You can do this. You want to strategize. If it's a student loan you're trying to pay off, I feel like a really smart way to do so is to create an Excel sheet or or manually log your finances down on paper so you can keep track of everything and you know exactly how your money is being spent. So you wanna figure out how much you wanna allocate each month to pay off your debt. So you have to be disciplined and create a healthier relationship with your money. Once you have a game plan and you know exactly what you have to do in order to achieve your long-term goals, a heavy weight will be lifted off your shoulder and you'll feel so much better about yourself. If it's a health-related thing, same thing, have a plan. You can start by implementing small changes in your life. For example, going to the gym every day for 20-30 minutes. You just want to create a healthy habit. Next tip, pamper yourself. You've worked hard and you've absolutely earned it, so don't forget to treat yourself. I personally have an extremely hard time sleeping when I'm under a lot of stress, and I cannot explain to you how important sleep is. It affects our health, our performance, our attitude, our energy, just everything. This could be anything you like. It could be a mani-pedi, a massage, getting your hair done, going to the movies, anything. I'm personally not going through the best time right now. So what I've been doing every single night is throwing on one of my glam up sheet masks, rolling up in bed with a snack and watching my favorite show on Netflix. It's my absolute favorite way to wind down. It helps me relax and just get way better sleep. And plus, it doesn't break the bank either. And the reason why I mentioned Glam Up Sheet Masks is because they're affordable than most other masks. So I don't feel bad when I just use them up every single day. This is a Supreme set and it comes in a set of 12. And usually I keep them on my bedside. As you can see right here, I used that one yesterday. They all have different names with different properties. Barrier function wrinkle care so it's just fun going through each one and picking out whichever one you feel like your skin needs i think i'm gonna go with intense moisture nourishing shea butter A lot of people ask me if it's okay to use sheet masks every day. I think it just really depends on the ingredients. The great thing about these Glamour sheet masks is that there are no harmful ingredients, so it's okay to use them every single day. And also it's cruelty free. So for those who are on a tight budget, but you still wanna pamper yourself, this is the way to go. So the next tip is, is for someone who is living 
that hectic, busy life. If you're someone who's always busy and just stressed out all the time, I think it's really important to just take a moment for yourself and breathe. You can go hiking, you can drive out of the city for a few hours, go on a walk. I think this time is super important because it just helps you detach yourself from everything, all the things that you're worried about, all the distractions. This time really helps me to just clear out my mind. So, and then when I come back to reality, I just have a stronger mindset and I feel like I can tackle more tasks more efficiently. In Korea, my favorite way to just kind of escape everything is going on a walk and I love the Mapo Bridge and it's just so beautiful. The view is insane. So this is one of my favorite places in Seoul. I always feel so good whenever I come here. They have words of encouragement all over the bridge right here. This was to help reduce the suicide rates. Every time I walk across the bridge, I feel so empowered. So if you ever come to Seoul, I would definitely recommend you to visit Mapo Bridge. Another quick way to just release some steam is to work out. And I know a lot of people hate working out and I completely understand you because I'm right there with you. I really honestly think that the hardest part about gymming is actually getting yourself to the gym. Once you're at the gym and you're about to work out, it's completely fine. But it's from your house to the gym, which is the hardest part. You'll come back with your head feeling way lighter. So yeah, maybe try that out. Anyways, these are my tips. And these are the tips that really helped me cope with my stress. And I know some of these might just sound really obvious, but you might have just needed someone to remind you of them again. So here I am reminding you guys to take it one step at a time and don't sweat the small things. So now I'm gonna get back to editing. Thank you guys so much for watching my video as usual and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!